Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. So we continue with revision from past paper questions. Okay, the first question that I see, uh, this from 2075 by the way, is what is a box plot and what does it measure? Describe the features that a box plot displays. Now look at this. There will be plenty of theory questions in your um, what you call probability and statistics exam. So make sure you take a statistics book and learn the theory properly. But I'll give you a few tips so that when you read the theory you'll be able to understand easily. Okay once more let me tell you if you write one or two points in your exam you may not get the six marks that's given here. You have to write properly the theory questions must be answered properly and you have to give genuine points okay so the question what's a box plot okay now get look at this given a data set you need five quantities actually this box plot is also called five number summary that means we are trying to analyze a data by just looking at five numbers five very important person or five very important points in the data okay so once more let me tell you our aim is very simple look at this sometimes uh, a data may contain 2000 members maybe 10,000 members maybe 1 lakh members but our aim is to analyze the whole data with the help of five numbers that is the least value quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3 and the highest value. So what we do is we will draw a scale parallel to the x-axis or a scale parallel to the y-axis. So basically you draw a real number system and you can mark the numbers uh, which are uh, what you call related to the data maybe 30 40 50 60 like this and a little bit above what you do is you plot the or you mark the lowest value then you mark quartile 1 then you mark quartile 2 then you mark quartile 3 and finally the highest value then make a box with the help of quartile 1 quartile 2 and quartile 3 and then what we do is we make the whiskers with the help of the lowest value and the highest value so this is called a proper box and whisker plot or simply the box plot etc etc now look at this by looking at the box plot we will be able to see whether the data items are symmetric or not and we will be even able to see the what do you call if there are any outliers because if there is an outlier outlier means extremely large values or small values in the data so by looking at the whiskers that means the endpoints we will be able to understand whether there are outliers etc. For example, in the picture that I have drawn, you can see that it is not at all symmetric because you can see that there are more number of data between quartile 1 and quartile 2. By the way, another name of quartile 2 is median and yet another name of quartile 2 is percentile 50. That means 50 percentage of the data or rather this number is supposed to be like 50 percent of the data will be on the left side of this number okay so that explains uh, box plot and you can what you call read about it a little bit more if you want you can take a screenshot ah, I forgot to tell one very important thing this the length of the box the length of the box will be the interquartile range. In the interquartile range means the difference between um, Q3 and Q1. So basically the length of the box will be the 
interquartile range okay now let's move on to the next question okay. i'll give you one example how to construct the uh, box plot for simple data so first of all you understand there are three types of data type 1 means raw data type 1 means raw data that is numbers will be given look at this this is actually a very good example of raw data see a lot of numbers are given a lot of numbers are given that's it that's called raw data or discrete data now in type 2 in the second type what happens is they will classify the data for example 10 students scored 5 marks 15 students scored 7 marks 6 students scored 10 marks 11 students scored 15 marks okay so this is the same thing this is the same thing uh, the only difference is instead of writing 5 5 5 5 5 5 again and again and again they are telling you 5 repeats 10 times 7 repeats 15 times for example if you look at this above data you will see that uh, some of the data repeat look at this I can see that 50 is repeating again and again and again and again and again and again so instead of um, like what you call giving you the discrete data or the raw data in type 2 what they will do is they will write 50 repeats uh, I didn't count exactly if, if you want you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so they will say 50 repeats 7 times 64 repeats 2 times like that like that like that and in type 3 uh, what happens is we will have class intervals and class intervals mean uh, they will it will cover a huge range of data for example um, what do you call the marks between 0 and 10 were scored by 7 students and the marks between 10 and 20 were scored by 8 students marks between 20 and 30 were scored by 11 students and remember one important thing about class intervals is uh, the data should be in continuous order it should be continuous that's very important otherwise we must make them continuous before doing any sort of calculation okay anyway in this video what i'm trying to do is i'm going to explain some simple problems in um, box and discuss okay so let's take another question paper i think this is 2076 okay so look at this define five number is some five number summary so don't worry five number summary box plot box and whiskers uh, literally you have to give the same kind of explanation but read a statistics book and make sure uh, you understand this properly they have given the attendance of the construction site workers here okay so look at this our aim is very simple find the lowest value quartile 1 quartile 2 quartile 3 and the highest value of course there is nothing called quartile 4 so the highest value okay now um, one of the best methods to uh, like what you call arrange the data is prepare a stem and leaf stem and leaf means uh, you look at the data items and you can see that the smallest starts from 30 and the largest number is from 66 so what you do here is you write 3 4 5 6 so remember this is called stem and leaf arrangement so I just made the stem and now you can read the data 34 uh, by the way you can arrange in any method you like but this is one method called stem and leaf now the next number is 42 so what I do is I'll write 2 here look 34 42 66 40 40 means 4 and leave some space and put 40 so the data items here are 42 40 59 36 41, 35, 36, 
38 okay now if you want you can write this also how many items are here 34 36 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 1 2 3 4 1 2 so you can count 7 plus 7 14 14 plus 4 18 18 plus 2 20 so that's clear 1 2 3 4 5 yeah that's it okay now what you do is you write the number in uh, what you call ascending order so the numbers will be what's the smallest number that you can see okay 30 and then the next number 32 you can cut it after you write 32 then 33 is not there so 34 and then 35 then 36 36 and then comes 38 now the next one 40 41 is there and 42 43 43 44 now 50 is there 53 58 59 62 and 66 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 12 uh, I can see only 19 so we left one number ah 48 so always check if all the numbers are in the list okay now look at this uh, one of the best methods to find uh, the quartiles one of the best methods to find quartiles is using the percentile formula this is type 1 type 1 means raw data and what we do is we have to arrange the data in ascending order the second thing we do is if we want quartile 1 that means we find percentile 25 percentile 25 means the number below which 25 percentage of the data will be there the number below which 25 percentage of the data item will be there and to uh, and if you want quartile 2 what we do is we find percentile 50 and if you want quartile 3 we find percentile 75 okay now look at this the first thing to do is you have to calculate something called index there are many methods in many books you can follow any method you like okay so the first thing to do is you calculate something called index index means for example if you want percentile 25 you'll write 25 by 100 multiplied by n n is 20 here and use a calculator so that you get 5 okay now look at this there are two possibilities here that's very important there are two possibilities here this number can be an integer or a non-integer if it is an integer then what we do is we go for 1 2 3 4 5 we go for the average of the fifth item and the sixth item so I'm going to write quartile 1 is equal to 36 plus 36 the whole divided by 2 so that quartile 1 is equal to 36 okay now the second one I'm going to find I is equal to I'm going to find quartile 2 or percentile 50 another name is median and I can do that by finding 50 by 100 multiplied by number of items and that will be 10 is it an integer yes if it is an integer then what you do is you go for the 10th item and 11th item so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so 42 43 the average of 42 and 43 is 42.5 now again I'm going to start I'm going to find the index that is 75 by 100 multiplied by n that will be 15 isn't it so we go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 and 16. So 50 plus 53. What is 50 plus 53? 
divided by 2 and that will be quartile 3 51.5 so now you can write the five number summary is so tell me what's the five number summary the least value that is 30 quartile 1 that is 36 quartile 2 that is 42.5 quartile 3 that is 51.5 and the largest value 66 okay now what we do is we are going to convert this into a box plot okay to make the box plot you have two options you can make a scale scale means and you can make a what you call uh, real number system real number system means simply a line with uh, what you call the numbers marked so you can see the 30 and 66 so I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to mark 30 um, 35 40 you can choose the scale according to your convenience 50 55 60 65 70 the only thing is the smallest number and the largest number should be included now a little bit above this I'm going to mark 30 and then I'm going to mark 36 use a graph paper and 42.5 then 51.5 66 use a scale and graph paper in exam okay now make whiskers here and make the box with the help of quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3. So we have the box and whisker plot. Is that clear? See? Define 5 number summary. So we have the 5 number summary here. And you have to write the theory actually. And we have prepared the box plot. So I can see that it's kind of like symmetric itself because it comes uh, in the middle but it's slightly skewed here. Article, you can see that there is like article more data over here. And you can notice one more thing. Uh, there was more registration after the what you call median part. Okay, that's it. So in the next video, I'll be back with um, more questions. So till then, my friends, bye.